Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, update for Thumbcraft 4.1, which is in a beta build of the Direwolf 20 pack. Uh, we're here in our Let's Play world. Uh, well, I say we. It's just me today. No girl pants, because I'm just going to go over some quick stuff with this new Thumbcraft, and uh, and that's it for this episode. So, uh, Thumbcraft 4.1, it's in version 16 of the pack now, I think. I think the release version is 14. That's the recommended release right now. Um, but if you if you select a little drop-down, uh, you can force yourself to play on version 16. Just make sure you update your server as well. And you will get this new Thomcraft. Now, there's some big changes and a few added items. I'm going to go over the big changes to research. Uh, that's the most important thing. And uh, it's both a good thing and a bad thing. So the absolute best thing, I think, that has happened is how you learn research. So before, you would go to your research table, and you would just uh, hit aspects until you got a random research. That stinks, because what if you're trying to get a specific one? You're just wasting research and you're, you're just getting the same other one over and over again, and what are you going to do? you got to force yourself to go research that one so it stops coming up. It was a big, fat pain. So instead, what they've done is now you can just click on any research that is flashing, so it, I can get the research for this one. It says, click to get a research note. I click it, boom, it puts the research right in my inventory. The only thing I need in my inventory is the uh, scribing tools and some paper. As long as you have those, you're all set and good to go. Now, there's also other kinds of research. Um, I've got a whole bunch of stuff done from the Let's Play, uh, which you can check out some of the other episodes, although a lot of the research I did off screen. Um, let me find a good example. Yeah, for instance, if I go to, um, let's see. Yeah, here we go, maybe golems. So you can see that, um, for instance, you, you learn golemancy, you learn your straw golem, you learn the golemancer's bell, and then they have these secondary researches, which you don't actually need to do research notes for. You can just click it as long as you have the right research stuff. You can see that for this one, the upgrade for entropy. Um, I just need eight and five of those two aspects. I forget what they're called. Um, and you can just purchase it, and boom, you just get it. So if I just click this, bam, I got it. I got that upgrade. I didn't even need to do the research. And that's going to be great because the research mechanic has completely changed, and in my opinion, it's much harder. Um, so I could do the same thing for iron golems, um, except that you can see I'm missing some of the research, the one that's flashing there. I don't have enough. Um, and so this is, this is true for a lot of these um, secondary ones. So for instance, I could just learn this um, golem core. And let's see. Um, oh, a big one is uh, transmutations. Um, you know, there's there's a whole bunch of them, and you can just click to learn them. So, uh, boom, just learn silver transmutation. How cool is that? Um, there's, let's see, there's a few others. Yeah, so for advanced uh, Essentia tubes, I could just learn that right off the bat if I wanted to. Um, so let's see, mm, what do we want to research? Uh, here we go. Infernal Furnace. This is the next thing I wanted to do in my Let's Play, so we're just going to go ahead and do this. So uh, I'm going to click it to get my research notes. It says, so research notes added to your inventory. So if I just come over to uh, my research table here, now I have my research notes. It just plopped them right into my inventory, and I can just drag it and put it right up here. Uh, and I don't need, uh, let's see, here we go. I don't need paper. I just need scribing tools. Now, um, so you just need paper and scribing tools in your inventory. Now you can see I have all my aspects here. There are some researches that you can do uh, where, I think it's just under the basics, yes. So research expertise and research mastery, and uh, I could learn this one, research duplication, which allows you to actually duplicate your finished notes. So. Um, Oh, I just got myself the research note. I accidentally clicked on it. Um, so research mastery and research expertise help me out because if I come over here, and as you saw before, if I hover over these aspects, it shows me what they're made of, right? So granum is made up of the, uh, the earth and the heart one. I'm sorry, I don't remember all the names all the time. Uh, tough cookies. And that's going to help you out with this new mechanic and research. There's no more moving around those runes, and um, 
the original mechanic from Thumbcraft 3, that's long gone too. Basically, I have to connect these um, nodes using other aspects which either make up or are made up of the connecting node. So, geez, let's see. I have to get from Ignis, which is a base one, to I have to go to Metallum. And you don't have to make one line like previously. The one with the scribing tools, it had to be a line. You couldn't spider out. This one, it doesn't matter. As long as they connect, that's great. So, let's see. So, Metallum is made up of air and stone. Um, let's see. Uh, we got to figure out a good way to do this. Um, stone is made up of terra. Terra is a base class. So that's not going to necessarily get us that far. Um, let's see. What has... Uh, what has air and terra in it? And so this is where it really helps out to have this hovering research where you can just see what stuff is made up of because it's going to really help you out when you're trying to find something to connect two things, for instance. Um, so right now I'm thinking, oh, geez, okay, what what can I use to connect? Um, what what makes up arm? Magic and air. Oh, okay. All right, well, let's see. Actually, this might be an easy connection to make. So I'm going to go ahead and you can drag these right onto... Um, right onto your, your paper here. So you can see that Lux is made up of Ignis and Air. So I'm going to drag it. And because these are connected, because Lux is made up of Ignis, it would also count if Ignis was made up of Lux. It goes both ways. I can drag it right down onto the paper. Okay, fantastic. Now I'm trying to get over here to, um, to Orem. Now I know that boom, hey, air is made up um, with Lux, so I can connect the two, so I can drag Lux over here. Boom. Oh, hey, this is pretty cool. So now I can drag, this is going to be something that you're going to do a lot because it's the easy way out, and I have tons of Lux and tons of air, so it's just an easy way to do this. Uh, I'm going to drag Lux over here, but see, this doesn't connect because Aurum is not directly connected to Lux, but Aurum, you can see, is made up of air. So I can drag another air here, and you can see that my line connects like so. If you, I just accidentally clicked, fantastic. Be careful when you're doing this. If you mess up and you want to remove something, you just click it, and it's going to remove it from your, um, from your aspect. If one of these uh, wouldn't connect to an adjacent um, thing like if I just dropped some air on here you can see it's gray and it doesn't connect and I can click and remove it there is uh, some of those advanced researches that I showed you that that give me this hovering ability um, to, to see what the aspect is made up of also gives you a chance to get back the aspect if you remove it from your um, from your pages um, that some of that advanced research also is a big help because you can get more of a certain research just by clicking on it. So let's see, um, Lux for instance. If I needed more Lux, which I don't, but if I did, uh, I could just, con uh, what is it, shift, uh, yeah, let's see, if I shift click, I believe, yes, shift click, and it just makes more automatically without having to combine it. If uh, one of these aspects, all of which I know, um, like metallum, for instance, if I didn't know metallum, it would just show up as a question mark, and that means that you haven't figured out the aspect yet. You haven't discovered it, so you would it would make things a lot harder. So you're going to want to try to discover more aspects before you complete that research. If it had a big fat question mark on it, now I'm going to try to complete this research. Um, it's probably going to take a little while. Like I said, this is much more involved than the last one. So the great thing about this new research is that you can just click on which one you want in your Thalmanomicon and get directly to it. The pain is it's a lot more involved, and you're going to have to use your brain a bit more. I know for me, just moving those little scribbling tools around was not much of a big deal. You just check out the wiki. The wiki says it's made up of these. You figure out which little notes they are, and you just move them into place. Um, this one, much harder. You're not going to be able to just follow a wiki. 
So I'm going to fast forward through this probably, and I will show you the completed works. <laughs> Okay, boom, there we go. So I completed this research. You can see if I was smart and I had figured out this side um, before I did that first side, I could have saved myself uh, one of my air aspects. Um, it was a bit wasteful, and um, if you really wanted to be very careful, you could you could very easily figure out the most opt well, not very easily, um, you could easily spend time figuring out the most optimal path and the most optimal solution, uh, which I did not do. I'm uh, being quite liberal with my aspects, but uh, as you can see, like I said, you don't need to go in a straight line. Um, you could just fill this entire space up with all connecting stuff uh, as long as you connect the original aspects on your page. You are good to go. So there we go. I have learned Infernal Furnace. Now if um, if I had the uh, research to copy notes, there would be a little star right here between my scribing tools and my notes. And I could click it and it would copy the notes. Uh, and it would use up a certain amount of aspects um, that it's made up of and every time you copy it it uses up a bit more so each you know the fourth copy is going to cost a bit more than the third copy so on and so forth so here we go I am good to go with my discovery notes uh, that looks like a bit of a glitch uh, I'm not sure yep there we go now it's gone um, little bug there for you and uh, now let's see I should have there we go my infernal furnace and now you can see uh, for instance arcane bellows is one of these where I could just click it and learn it easy as pie um, so you're spending a little bit more time on a lot of the research uh, aspects but uh, on the research notes but some of the secondary ones you can just click to learn uh, makes things a little easier so you spend a little more time in one place you save a little time in the other that's fantastic. Now there's uh, some other changes. Um, there's some cool armor, which I'm not going to go over, but uh, you can learn this yourself. Runic armor. Um, that's got some cool aspects to it. It's like a new mechanic. Um, the arcane door and the pressure plates are back. I believe that's a, an old thing that left uh, for a while, and now it's back. There is some changes to the, dun, 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 the Essentia tubing. Now, in my Let's Play, you're actually getting a sneak peek at this. Um, between the last episode and when I found out Thomcraft 4.1 was coming out, I had set up a network of Essentia tubes connected to my Arcane Alembics, uh, getting ready to make my Infusion Altar here. Now, um, before, the way the... Uh, let's see, do I have some? Yeah, the way the Essentia tubes were working before, it would just go ahead and... and distribute whatever among everything. So you could just connect all of your Alembics to all of your uh, warded jars, and you'd have no problems at all. Everything would just go where it belonged. Now, that's a lot more difficult, and you could come up with a system with valves, but I'm going to show you here. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put, uh, let's see, piece of coal, and you know what? We'll just cook up a piece of coal. How's that sound? Am I going to get anything from it? There we go. So you can see that here I have connected my... Oh, wait. Where is... Oh, it's way up here. So if I connect all of these, you can see that there's this little, you know, uh, I don't know, graphic of some of the essence kind of leaking out. That's because there's this whole system now about vacuum pressure. And so you can see that there's two of this aspect in here, but it can't make its way over to the warded jar. That's because there is a certain amount of pressure 
or vacuum, I should say. Actually, it's based on vacuum. So there's a certain amount of suction being created from these aspects here that are preventing anything else getting through the system. So if you just had one alembic and you were just trying to get one aspect into one jar, that would be fine. And uh, it would work out great if you were just you know, trying to farm one of them for a specific purpose. Uh, but in the terms here of your you know, infusion altar, then you're not going to be, oh, that's another thing I gotta show you then you're not going to uh, be able to do it. So it's kind of kind of force you to use the golems, which I'm going to research in the uh, Let's Play, and I'm going to use golems to, to dispense the uh, Essentia. Now, you can click on these tubes. Um, this is just a little thing. If I click on it, then it isolates it from everything else. I think I could say, let's see, shift-click, there we go. Um, but it prevents connections. Now, there we go. So that's that's something I could do there. If I doesn't seem super useful, but if I wanted to prevent those two from touching, I could always do that. Now, uh, let's see. Now I'm gonna get rid of this. Now, everyone has well, not everyone. Maybe you haven't researched this stuff yet. But there are wand caps, and I have a focus pouch, and I have a few focuses foci, however it may be. You can yell at me in the comments. Um, so I've got frost, I've got fire, and I think I've got the um, the earth one on here that uh, digs stuff up. And you used to be able to just hit F and it would swap your wand caps, your wand caps. So uh, now you just hold down F and it brings up this neato little graphic here and it will show all of the different wand caps you have and you can just click on the one you want so tapping doesn't work anymore you just got to hold it down and you can swap that way so you don't have to cycle through and know which one is which and it actually shows you actually you can see it up in the upper left hand corner I'm currently holding excavation this one's fire so you don't have to remember which color was which I think that's a really cool I think it's a really cool little thing so uh, I think that's about it for, for this Thomcraft 4.1 update. Um, please leave comments if there's something that uh, I was wrong about because that's been known to happen. Or uh, if you've got some extra helpful tips or if there's something you didn't understand you want to see more of, I don't mind doing that either. Um, there's a bunch of new uh, things like the door and stuff like that that I talked about, which uh, I'll probably try to do in the Let's Play. There is a um, system that lets you automatically do um, crucible stuff. You, you create this like uh, multi-block structure on top of your crucible, um, but that's uh, like a whole other episode all to itself, I think. So I will dedicate another episode to that uh, at some point, or maybe we'll do it in the Let's Play when I finally unlock the research. Um, so hopefully this helped, and uh, I will see you in the Let's Play. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Okay. Whoa. Oh, made a cool sound. Ah. Ah. Uh, my fist is made of power now. Whoa. 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 Hang on. Whoa. Hey, easy. What just happened? I, I don't know. It was like an ex they made an exploding sound. I just and I saw like a I saw like a, a looked like a boulder fly by. It didn't it doesn't look like it damaged anything though. Luckily. I don't know what happened.